What's going down, techies and techettes? There's a lot of news that we need to cover. One of the big joys is we have a new gamer driver experienced by NVIDIA. Last time they gave us some new settings and we're gonna see a lot more improvements across the board that I was really excited to see on top of the test marks which we'll go over on top of our patch notes which we'll get into what the actual physical changes are inside of this driver and on top of that a really great way to capitalize on all this chaos because right now what you need to do as we slam into the news is the point if you are not already going to buy some technology you need to buy it now in this quarter because as we increase throughout the year the prices on technology are going to increase because of the shortage due to the <clears throat> that a lot of creators can't talk about right now in this industry but at the very end of this video i'm going to have a fun way that you and uh yourself could benefit from the situation in technology hiking up to afford that at the very end. So stay tuned to the very end of my little tidbit of notes. That would be pretty cool. But we're going to go ahead and dive right directly into it is our patch notes. Let's see what the juicy details are of this update. And if you're here, you're at the MacGyver 7 channel. My name is Mac, and you're going to get all the answers that you need today. Hopefully, if not, drop a comment down below. But let's go ahead and get to the show. Now with a few new games getting a lot more better fixes as Apex makes the list on top of Division 2 and the Warlord of New York expansion and Ark Genesis Part 1 are part of the headlines for as far as what they address inside of the security update and tons of bugs they say. Now the security update that you'll end up getting is the added security date of Nvidia's security bulletin in 4996 for the details you can click this link that i'll have on top of there to get to this later on as the vrss makes the list in the profile on the situation of the vr applications vr chat the budget cuts inside of the missionary of uh, the situation of walking dead also makes the list and saints as well as doctor who and pocketer stars vr all these games now should hopefully be having a little bit more action to what's going on versus the bugs that you may have been experiencing. Now going on to the compatible displays, you'll see the AUK AG27 1F Z2 on top of the F1 G2 and then you have the PG 43U making a list for the ASUS boards. Now looking at drop of that for as far as past the displays and the general fixes that they say tons exist. If in Apex you had your game crashing with the DXGI error and the device hung and the code of the variation down below, then you are going to be hopefully happy to see that this is being fixed. If not, leave a comment down below with the other various updates we're going to list. Mortal Kombat also makes the list with random crashes on top of the desktop with the errors. Zombie Army of Dead Wars 4, Vulcan, HDR corruption, and the flickers occurs when in HDR inside of the application enabled the battle eye low latency mode launches in battle eye with nvidia's low latency mode set to ultra may cause the dwm to reset as in past more than likely just bringing that setting up will hopefully fix that if this does not fix it hopefully they've been ironing this out for that issue the where you've been going under and you had to push it up in order to hit those frame rates that you want now twitch studio as you see approaches in the situation for as far as the app shows corruption when image sharpening is enabled in the global from the nvidia control pattern now i utilize just obs maybe i should start messing with the twitch studio just to see if it makes any more difference but a lot of my stuff is broadcast in many fashions moving on past that sonic all stars makes the exact list as we pull up the list of bugs to see the head above water being the situation where the crashes were for as far as that situation. Now, as far as zombies army making the Vulcan list yet again for the HDR when it's enabled, they could have summed that up in just one little, I guess, go around. But going on to the Red Dead Redemption 2 Vulcan where random crashes occurred during gameplay on the older GPUs on top of the Pascal. So if you're having an issue with these, hopefully this is gonna be ironing out for your journey down the mosey of happiness and trails and getting inside of there. Now the more important open issues that we'll be going on to 
You can see that the zombie army still makes the list with the analyst in the free stable tab unselected on top of Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six in the Vulcan G-Sync. When playing the game in Vulcan mode, the G-Sync enabled flickers occurs after switching the games between full screen and Windows tabs. To work around and either disable the G-Sync or play utilizing an API other than the Vulcan. Windows 7 inside of the world of Warcraft in the battle, your DirectX 12, the game crashes when switched into DirectX 11 to 12, so if you toggle, you will run into issues. Besides that, we have the direct patch notes from NVIDIA that I have linked down below if you want to get to more of the technical issues and just having their lovely format of everything that goes inside of there. Now, for as far as benchmarks. As I have 3D Mark pulled up for us to take our first glimpse into what the 1080p spiral will be within DirectX 11, we'll start to see and understand that there is a very good analyzation. Now, utilize, I take this with a grain of salt because just utilizing a 2080 Ti to test this out, it has a little bit more running range when it comes down to these 1080p tests. It can kind of fluctuate within a few hundred, but this was pretty solid. So I was like, okay, this is pretty good because the next tests we're gonna show are the post update, which we have the portion of the 12, not the 50. So this is the when looking at the 442 series, we can see that the 12 lacks a lot when coming down to the 50, where even in a security update, we gain a solid 200 points. That is pretty almost impressive across the board for as far as improvements, as you can see definitely the graphics score shooting up inside of there, where it definitely takes advantage of that combined score. Now with looking at the extreme test of pushing the DirectX 11 a little bit farther, you can see that the consistencies are almost exactly there again. With having the 442.12 versus the 442.50, you can definitely see that there's a big drastic improvement as it pushes it over into an overclock setting. Now let's look at the Ultra, They're pushing it to the very end of the DirectX 11 to see what we're going to end up being with our, is it good? And even at the very top notch of DirectX 11, it pushes through like a champ, with still gaining numbers across the board. So, so far, DirectX 11 is kicking butt. And I'd like to think if you're only doing DirectX 11 over ports and a lot of these DLCs that you're downloading or new games that are supposed to be fixing over, this seems like a solid fix. NVIDIA took their time with dropping another update as well as AMD. I was actually surprised to see the both of them pushing out stuff, but it was probably because content was coming out for other games. Let's go ahead and go to our DirectX 12. Before we take a look at Port Royale and seeing how those tensor cores are doing with this update. As looking directly over side of here, you can see that the 442.12 comes in pretty sturdy as it costs the board, but when given the new update, it definitely excels. So again, Time Spy 1080p DirectX 12 is kicking butt with gaining almost nearly about a good margin of a percentage. Now let's go ahead and look at our ultras uh, beyond the Time Spy normals. And this is where I'm really impressed. Normally with 4K, you're pushing it to the limits and for it to see such a drastic increase, as you can see where the graphics score goes up pretty decadent into a 250, bringing the whole total score to a 5100 without overclocking and it just doing its normal self update to update. This is very good. So let's go ahead and look at our Port Royale. And I'm insanely impressed. Honestly, this seems like it addresses everything for majority of what people want and there are more to come on the bugs fixes but when you look at the scores score to score tensor core direct x11 direct x12 this is an installable update because you can see that the increasement just happens so across the board consistently which means they really took their time to iron this out so at the very end of this what i can basically say everyone is it's an installable update and at this point in time, take advantage of cheaper prices to get what you want in technology, if it be AMD, Nvidia, whatever it is right now, because in the middle of the year, you might see about the prices of 2017 hitting again for like SSD, just because of the shortage of what's being pumped in order to keep the world safe at this very moment. But as I said, a tidbit of information that you could maybe take advantage of this time. I recently got into a really kick butt app, which was Robinhood. That is a free to trade like freaking app for like stocks and you can utilize it to come up in the world right now because a lot of the stock prices right now are at a very sexy price. AMD, 
I mean, especially NVIDIA, oh my gosh. NVIDIA is like a sexy blonde staring at you from across the bar, and you should go say hi to her. But anyways, I'll have a link down below that you can take inside of the description to take advantage of that, and it gives you a free stock for starting um, on top of that situation while utilizing the affiliate link. So if you are interested in that and want to take advantage of it, never dabbled it, time to buy technology is right now. Anything is a good buy uh, at this point in time. If you love the technology game, look at the freaking analytics and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about, how this is a big slope and it will go up again because there's a lot of good plans for the 3080 Ti and man, they crafted a monster when Nvidia saw that AMD stepped up to the plate and was like, big Navi. And then like Nvidia was like, medium geforce or ultra geforce and they're doing some pretty cool stuff so i'm really excited to see what ends up happening there's a lot of for both companies so have a very nice day this is your boy mac saying have a fun time if you're new to the network you can always subscribe but for the people that have stayed tuned and love these updates i appreciate you i'm still working on a studio driver to driver i just need to find a great way to test that in order to give people what they need in order to push through um but mainly um the mid part of trying to make the technology uh, gain and finances is my gift to you I'm saying do it right now just because I'm making a lot of good profit off of it and you guys and gals have believed in me up until this point of the situation of being here and you still have so there we go cheers everyone I'll see you guys and gals in the near future and I have rambled too much and I'm gonna go ahead and leave um have a nice one and definitely install this update if you have any issues drop a comment down below and I'll see you in the near future for more Nvidia updates